a bacterium can live for one day and then after one day it's gonna die basically and during the one day it can reproduce zero one or two offspring with probability 20 percent 30 percent and 50 percent respectively the same mechanism applies to all of its offspring basically they all have this each offspring that is created will have the same probability of producing the next offspring but they also can only live for one day what is the probability that the entire bacterial population die out so basically we have a bacteria it can reproduce to one offspring and die or it can reproduce to two offspring and die or does not reproduce so and this keeps on going if you think about it the offspring can reproduce again and so on and forever but there is a chance that it will die out because some of the offspring won't reproduce anymore it has the 20 percent of producing zero offspring how do you solve this problem so yeah if you try to draw out all the possibility it's actually quite hard the key here is to use a recursive probability to think about this problem basically you have a bacteria at 20 percent it's going to die out at 30 percent it's going to maintain the same population and then at 50 percent it's going to double so that means it will become two bacteria how do we represent the probability here so let's figure out the recursive relationship so let p be the probability that the offspring of a bacterium eventually die out offspring of one bacterium eventually die out so basically starting here with just one the probability that it's eventually going to die out is we, we let that be p and after a 20 percent transition that it doesn't produce any offspring basically it's going to die for sure so that's the probability of one and after 30 percent that it produced one offspring so it's going to maintain the same population so there's still one bacterium left so the probability of that dying out is again p finally when you have two bacterium remaining the probability that it's going to die out would be the probability that both of them die out so if the probability of one bacterium die out is p then the probability that both of them die out will be p squared basically you can think about it as two bacteria and they eventually might or might not die out given some probability and they are independent of each other and they both have a probability of dying out eventually which is p and it's the same as this very first bacterium that we started with so for both of them to die out this will be p square so now we have a recursive relationship that we can put down p is equal 0 0.2 times 1 
plus 0 0.3 times p plus 0 0.5 p squared. So let's try to solve this. We multiply it by 10. So 5p squared minus 7p plus 2. So here we are just basically going to apply the quadratic formula, right? Where if you have 0 equal to ax plus bx plus c, x is equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So applying that here, p is equal to 7 plus or minus 7 squared as 49 minus 4 times 5 times 2 divided by 2 times 5, that's 10. So 7 plus or minus 3 over 10. So basically, P is going to equal to 1 or 4 over 10. And we know that P equal to 1 is not the answer because it's not interesting. Because if you look at here, it's basically 1 equal to 0 0.2 times 1, 0 0.3 times 1, 0 0.5 times 1. That's basically saying that if P is basically a bacteria that never reproduce that that's one possibility so p equal to 0 0.4 is the answer that makes sense in the original question